Hi folks, back again with a yard sale haul. Actually, it's a combination of two, and uh, I'm doing this one-handed because I'm holding my um, Sir Lancelot because he's being a stinker today. Um, but the first thing I wanted to show today was this really, really, really fun article pamphlet on how to crochet. And it's really, it's really kind of old. And it has all these really fun patterns in there on how to crochet um, fun doilies and stuff. So I thought, how fun is this? So I thought this would be really fun to package up goodies in for my not-so-secret sister who also crochets. And then I found this, and I thought this was really fun. It's called The Miracle in Grandmother's Kitchen. And it's old, too, and it has all these fun ephemera pieces and all this really fun cookware and dishware and things for your for your kitchen. And I have a friend in my Chic Crafty group named Julie who um, likes to do this kind of stuff in decor. So I thought this would be just a fun coffee table book or a book that she could put in her kitchen and look at. And maybe, and maybe, just maybe, she might actually have some of these items in her stash in her house. So I thought that was really fun. And I think I got that for 40 cents. And then I found this book called v Vintage Illustrations, and it's got all these awesome, awesome photographs. Awesome. All the things that you ladies look for all the time. There's Western motif. They even have Marie Antoinette. Um, all these beautiful photos. They are all black and white. I know that. That's fine. Summer color. I don't care. I just loved them and I figured, you know, maybe I could photocopy some of these and use them in some of my projects. I like the Indian ones. Everything is just so beautiful. So that was a dollar and I thought that was a really good deal. Not bad for a book. Not bad for that kind of a book. And then there was this. Now I haven't seen one of these in really good condition in a long time. And it's crystal and it's still has the pump. So I figured how pretty would this be to alter and stick on my vanity in my room. And then I found this and I was actually um, really excited. It was only a dollar. And I'm actually going to take the crystal jars out. I'm going to paint, spray paint these all white. Not the jars, but just the lids and then the canister itself white. And I was inspired by a post in one of my Facebook groups to alter this and use these for glitter. And I love this. And I may not use them for glitter. I might use them for my pearls that I use to make my stick pins or my flatback pearls to make my shabby chic flowers and cards with. So I loved that. I'm going to put that up on my on my wall. And then, of course, I found some more doilies. This was 10 cents. So this was a 10 cent doily. You know, me and my doilies. This was a big, big round doily centerpiece. And this was 75 cents, actually. Look how pretty this is, you guys. Look at all those flowers in there. And then there was this one, and this one was also 75 cents. And I loved this one. Look at the centers of this. Isn't that beautiful? Of course, I think it was 75 cents, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, but boy, is that ever so gorgeous. Even just the trim pieces alone are beautiful. This was 10 cents. And this one was 10 cents. And this one was actually 10 cents. <laughs> this one was a dime, or a, a nickel, I'm sorry, that was a nickel. And this one was 50 cents. And I think it was because it had more of the design work to the corners of it. The lady was ever so sweet too. And this was 10 cents. So I got all those for really good deal. And then I found these, which I thought were just awesome. So, they still had the vintage images in them. This one was 50 cents because the glass was missing. Um, but this one was a dollar and it's velvet backed. So I can tell you that these are actually pretty old. They're solid brass. They're heavy duty. Um, but I'm going to alter these, of course, for my shabby chic room. And then I found a really fun ephemera basket with this Easter-y scenes that I'm going to fussy cut out and use for Easter for next year for some projects. And two of these that are just so pretty. I love handkerchiefs. And look how pretty these handkerchiefs are for Valentine's Day. Oh, they're so pretty. And I love hankies. So that was fun. And then last but not least were these. And I'm not sure if everybody knows what these are for. 
um, or what they are, but I know, I'll tell you they're very expensive. So they come, this was, this bag was $2, the other bag was three. They come in strands only about that thick. And they sell them at Craft Warehouse for about $20 a strand for like a yard and a half to two yards of it. Well, these were $2, and these are glass. So the pearls are plastic, but the rhinestone pieces on them, these little pieces here, are glass. And these are used for bridles, and they're used for swags and sprays, and I use them for my cards to dangle out of flowers and such and other altered projects. And I've always admired them at Craft Warehouse, never bought them because they were so expensive. And now I have a bag of the white and a triple bag of the teal blue. Could not... I mean, I would, this just blew my mind how much there was. And I've already shared some, too. I went to my friend Lucretia's and shared some today. But look how beautiful. So these are all glass, and then the rest are plastic. But they are on these little strands, and they are a bridal thing. And those are very nice quality. I've never seen this color even at um, Craft Warehouse. So I scored big time. I know I'll be angel kissing some of these, but my goodness. Could you just imagine? And this is a popular color right now. So... I just wanted to come real quick and show you all that. Uh, thanks for coming by. I am off to go and create and garden a little bit because it's nice outside. So um, I hope to chat with you all soon. Thanks for coming.